Good morning. Did you miss us? Yes. <laughs> Jan and I played hooky last Sunday. It was so much fun. I think it's only the second time in 16 years we've done that. But so thank you for Daryl and Mike and everybody that uh, all six or ten people that it took to take our place. So <laughs> thank you for that. You know, we are really lucky to have flowers today. <laughs> Okay. I was out playing with the uh, fountain out there and I heard this crash and I turned around and saw Trudy standing there with a, a handle in her hand and the flowers on the ground. With a surprise look on your face. With a <laughs> surprise look on your face, yeah. It was a beautiful crystal, well excuse me, it was a beautiful crystal something because it was a beautiful crystal handle. Ooh. We are about this far away from a thousand views on YouTube. Hi guys and gals. Thank you very much. Send money. No. I had, and Jan's not here to, to remind me exactly how this was. We were talking to, oh I can't tell you. But we were talking to somebody and they're going to this church. Um, I could tell you which one it was but it really doesn't matter. And I guess when they wanted to become members they went to this big membership meeting. Um, you know, if you want to become members here, you just say you're a member. Um, we used to have coffee cups. We don't do coffee cups anymore just because it was too complex in this building. But in their group, they, they had, you had to, to become a member, you had to contribute this much per year, and you had to do this, and you had to do that. And if you couldn't contribute this much per year, then you had to, from this list, you had to have jobs that you had to do every Sunday. And oh, by the way, you had to be there every Sunday. Whoa. And this is one of the newer progressive churches. Holy smokes. God bless you. Uh, we have two patron saints, though, George Carlin and um, John Lennon. So. And John said, you are not your emotions. You have emotions, you can master them. So there. And of course, George, <laughs> who knows what he's got? Oh, yeah, the status quo sucks. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So, um, church picnic is next month, 15th. Um, huh? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so September 15th next month if anybody from YouTube you're, I know, and I know there's people that watch us here in the Tri-Cities you can come to our picnic it's okay um, we're going to have it at uh, Columbia Point hi <laughs> um, how children perceive their grandparents I've done these before over the years and they are still funny um, uh, she was in the bathroom putting on her makeup under the watchful eye of her young granddaughter as she'd done many times before. After she applied her lipstick and started to leave, the little one said, but Grandma, you forgot to kiss the toilet paper goodbye. I will probably never put lipstick on again without thinking about kissing the toilet paper goodbye. <laughs> Cute. Grandkids make it all worthwhile. Also makes me really happy I didn't kill our kids. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. In the pursuit of nonconformity, we become the ultimate conformist. Van Gogh was a true nonconformist. In creating the only thing, in, in creating the only thing, let me try it for the third time. In creating the only hard things to begin. A grass blade's no easier to make than an oak. The living well is the best revenge. I said it wrong again. What is, uh, what's wrong with me? I need a vacation. Um, living well is the best revenge. Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Oh, I, can, I understand that one. Pop-Tarts, introduced on September 14th, 1964, were named as a pun on pop art. Now you know. 
Did anybody like the, you know when I was a kid I wanted Pop-Tarts so bad and then when I think I got to be like a mid-teenager I finally got some and went, these aren't really all that good. So, hot chalk. Yeah, hot chalk, yeah. Are they any better now? No. Why do they eat things like that? Good job whoever does the marketing. <laughs> Um, medieval sportsmen had many rules to govern hunting. Even then, there were seasons for different animals and birds. Restrictions to give the hunted a sporting chance. But sometimes a man who wished to fill only his pot would come along and ignore all the regula regulations and rules. Since rules were thrown aside when shooting for the pot, any cheap attack came to be called a pot shot. Now you know. See, you know, you go to school all those years, hopefully you get a, a degree and, and maybe even an upper degree, and you still come to church to learn something. Imagine that. The important stuff, absolutely, absolutely. Um, why do people clink their glasses before drinking a toast? I knew this, but I hadn't read it in a long time. Because it used to be common for someone to try to kill an enemy by offering him poison, a poisoned drink. To prove to a guest that a drink was safe, it became customary for a guest to pour a small amount of his drink into the glass of the host. Both men would drink simultaneously. When a guest trusted his host, he would only touch or clink the host's glass with his own. So, you know, oh, do I try? Uh, okay, yeah, we don't have to drink the same time. So. Interesting. Good stuff. Um, do we have a list for the um, picnic, or are we just kind of bringing whatever? <laughs> okay, it's no, no list, just bring a side dish because the Divine Fellowship is going to supply the pulled pork and pulled chicken, plus the buns and plates and all of that stuff that we need. So, and, and water. They'll supply water. So if you want something else to drink other than water, you need to bring that. Bring your chairs. Bring your drums. Definitely bring your drums. We want to make a big show out there at the park this year. We had a lot of fun last year with it. And a side dish of your choosing. And don't make any more than maybe for about 10 people. We had a lot, a lot of food last year, and there was a lot of food left over. So we're saying maybe around 10 people. Um, if you guys want um, any more than that, you're just be prepared to take it home. <laughs> I think that's everything, right? It's right after church. Right after church on the 15th. Oh, we can make them so. Yeah. Good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah, very good idea. Does somebody in charge I would say, does anybody know where we can get good gluten-free buns? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Reiki sessions at 1.30 after church. Okay, drum circle. Daryl doing drum circle this week. Drumming circle this week with Daryl. How did the drumming go last week? Everybody have a good time? I heard we had lots of drums. Cool, cool. Did it actually get up on the web yet? Or cool? Yeah, it did. It just YouTube was having issues this week. Yeah. We've already got like like twelve people viewing it, viewed it so already. So and it's in one entire. It's one of few ones. <coughs> I just put everything together. And just <laughs> Why not? Uh, mind shifters on Wednesday? I don't see anybody, so. Yes, it's Wednesday. There's nothing here. What's Thursday? Oh, Lord. It's in case we have any bull today, I'm ready. Why did he pull that out when I stood up here? I don't. These are my my dog walking pants. Jeez. Okay, this Thursday, <clears throat> I'm frequently asked the same questions over and over and over and over. So I thought I would create an opportunity for you to ask me some questions. Um, I'm also going to try to do a simultaneous uh, teleconference 
So we'll see if that works. I'm only charging $10 for the session. And it's questions like, I get asked questions like, what is the difference between a visitation and a haunting? Um, what's, my, what's the best way to start being intuitively aware? What is reality? I may not have all the answers. <laughs> But I will have answers that have served me, and maybe they'll be a, a, an ability or give you some ability to, to find your way. I'm not here to tell you what to think or tell you what to believe or tell you what to know, but I'm here to help you in the path of discovery. And this question and answer session, uh, I expect it's going to be a lot of fun. We did a really small group that, um, before where people asked me some questions on a telecall, and it was a hoot. It was just awesome. So hopefully you'll have an opportunity to attend and we'll see where we can go from there. So it's this Thursday, 6.30 to 8.30. And if you can't be here physically, um, let me know and I'll email me or text me or whatever or Facebook me or whatever and we'll get, we'll get you the call in information, okay? Thank you. Certainly. Christopher's gonna be here next week? Yes. Okay. Cool, Christopher's here next week. Um, any little kids? Okay, should be okay. And might have new people, but sorry. Um, sex at seventy nine. Oh, now that I have everybody's attention, I just took a leaflet out of my mailbox and formally informed me that I can have sex at seventy nine. I'm so happy because I live at number 71. So, it's not too far to wa walk home afterwards, and it's on the same side of the street, so I don't even have to cross the road. <laughs> it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you place the blame. You are not drunk if you can lie on the floor without holding it. <laughs> we have enough youth. How about fount uh, Fountain of Smart? The original point-and-click point interface was Smith & Wesson. A fool and his money can throw one heck of a party. I'm there for that. Okay, I love this one. This is uh, um, a cool looking little old man driving behind the steering wheel picture, really cute picture. Um, an elderly man was stopped by the police around 2 a.m. and was asked where he was going at this time of night. Frank replied, I'm on my way to a lecture about alcohol abuse and the effects it has on the human body, as well as smoking and staying out too late. The officer then asked, really? Who's giving that lecture at this time of night? The old man replied, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Came on. I think we're going to do Angels Among Us. I'm pretty sure. 